Hey, I am telling y'all, man, this boy is gonna be a star, man. He made this song, it's so hot. Hey, hey, DJ, DJ, man, hurry up, come here. What's you up? gotta hear this song, Lil Jug Drop. Oh, it's yeah? so fire. Do it, Jug, do it. All right, do I got it. you. I'm gonna hit you with just the chorus, okay? Ooh, the chorus. Okay. You drop beat? Yeah, I got you. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. Young DJ, call me rookie of the year. Do a spin move, might just end your whole career. I'm with Jamie, he's a legend of the game. Love me, baby, calling out my name. Hey, 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 hey. What is going on up in here? What is Brandon, get you and your mom out of here right now. Sorry, coach. Alright, we got a game to prepare for. I want to see everybody focused here, okay? We have a game in a few. Right. I need to see people watching film, you know? Film, film, Mentally film. preparing themselves. Okay, gotcha. Get out there and shoot around if you Let's have to. Shoot already. around. Yes, you coach. Got gotcha, you, coach. Yeah. We're going to be out there. Because, see, that's what I like to hear, Shannon. Because I'm the coach and I make all the rules. You got me in trouble. That's what you did. All right. Had the court. All right, so game eight versus the Kings. Thanks for joining us live for it. And we've got... Well, guys, sir... Thanks, David. And it's clear that Coach Yeager is a details guy, an impressive young coach. Already, Doris, several elite rookies are struggling. Right, we often go. see there top high school players making the seamless jump to college. Why is that next jump from college to pro so much more? The Kings leading. And for Sacramento. Zach Randolph is out there with Carter, and it's Fox, then it's Garrett Temple, and it's Labissier in at the five. And that one, good. And it's six points for Zach Randolph. He might not elevate like some of the other guys on the court, but as we've learned, Randolph knows how to get the ball in the basket. To the right side. And there's the feed to Well. Six to shoot. Three-pointer, Bird, and it's Sacramento with the rebound. They defeated Indiana in their last game. And, and once they established that flow offensively, really never got any resistance from the D. I think, Greg, you can't expect to win with that kind of effort. The defense was nowhere to be found, and it cost them all Get night the long. Fuck out of my and he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And where have the shots been coming from tonight? Here's a look, broken down by paint, mid-range, and three-point shot attempt so far for Sacramento. And, and really, there's just such a lack of scoring for them from out at the top of the arc in terms of three-point range. And in today's game, you have to get scoring from the three-point range. And that area out above the free-throw line extended is a real weak spot for them so far. Fox kicks to Randolph. Over Tatum. Randolph can't hit. Celtics trail by four on the wing bird over Carter they get the rebound right wing rails wide open Boston no good that time either and I thought that was gonna drop it looked good from here passes it to Labissier feeds to Fox and Temple kicks to Carter oh. off the mark there with the three-point shot the Celtics have gone 0-3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second quarter. 
Tatum passes to Bird. The three. Again, the miss by Bird. Sacramento leading by four. Here's Carter. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Well, obviously a notable improvement for the Boston Celtics last season on the offensive end. Their shooting percentages pretty much up across the board. Vince Carter hits them both. And when you look at the offensive improvement for the Celtics Doris last season, what do you attribute that to? Well, I think a number of things went into that. Man, when I'm Kev, fucking but open, the acquisition they don't of Al Horford was crucial. Yeah. This guy finished second on the team in assists, and he is also an excellent shooter. So he was able to affect winning with both his passing and his scoring ability. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter, and Temple kicks to Randall. He dishes it to Fox. Randolph a screen. And stolen by Tatum. Over Randolph. It's hauled in by the Kings. They've got the Pistons ahead of them in their next game in Detroit. That'll be the last game of their very short three-game road tour. Pass to Temple. Six on the shot clock. Count that is his fourth basket of the night. Just seven shots to get there. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Would you give me the ball when I'm fucking open, dude? Now, here's Wells. He's guarded close. Oh, my God, dude. For fuck's sake. Rozier, the pass to Bird. Second shot opportunity. Count that one, and the Kings lead has been cut down to just three in the basket from Rozier. I'll tell you, unless someone gets a hand to it, it's hard to miss the mark from that close range. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. And really, whether you're up or down, it's a game of adjustments. Well, I like to see them mix it up a little bit. You've got to keep the opposition off balance. Looking at the numbers for Horford. And so it's the Sacramento King. Oh. Going into the break with a 10-point lead. They have made it very tough to get a shot off against them. Their defense has been stifling. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Captain. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here. At and the third quarter about ready to get underway. It's been one outstanding new group out on the floor I get put Celtics. in at the fourth Sacramento also making some Man, changes. how do they expect me to ever get anywhere in this Randall. fucking game if and I can't ever fucking Vince play Carter. or get the yes, ball from and, my and teammates with this one winding down it's obvious to everyone who watched it just a total mismatch and a true show Coming up against the fucking best player Sacramento. on the goddamn and this fucking team was dude. one that never really was in doubt I thought an all-around dominant performance and you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game yeah there was a sense of that I'm about to just start like Pretty much blew them right the out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And every win important. And this one will go down as win number three. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series. And they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Zach Randolph. Well, I thought his best work was his pursuit of the basketball. He competed for every rebound, fought for position in the paint, and never stopped working. I love it. We've got Aaron Baines. Rogier is out there with Bird. Then it's Tatum. That's the Boston Five. And all the energy has been sucked out of this arena. This is not what the fans Excessive came to see. Ball calling well, they took the crowd completely game. out of this game. And when you get a lead like that, it's sort of deflating for the home crowd. What a solid victory on the road. No good on that one. Good on the second free throw. 11 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Fox with it. Now the dish to Kufus. From down in the low post, it goes. 
And this is how you close out a game. See, dude. Not taking any chances. Oh my fuck, well, dude. This game pisses me off so fucking bad. Like this. So they put the finishing touches. One thing you gotta learn is you gotta travel light on road trips. Some guys wanna bring every freaking thing. Well, it depends on how long we're out though, right? Two weeks, two days, whatever. I bring one roller suitcase and a backpack max, that's it. I used to have a teammate. He'd always bring a suitcase of his sneakers, his clothes, his gaming console. Hey, that sounds like an idea, actually. A bag of books, like hardcover books, not paperbacks, not e-books. Two laptops and like five cell phones. What, are you balling with ever snow? Boo Boo know what I'm talking about. Look, he go out on the road prepared for the world to end. The point is, you don't need all that. A bag, a suitcase, and like two cell phones. That's it. That's it? And my laptop. That goes right in your bag. And my game console. Ah, here we go. Oh, like you don't want a game on the road now? <laughs> you already know you owe me a couple dinners. Wait, he still owes you those dinners. I do. Can you believe that, Boo Boo? I can. Damn. Alright, well, that is the end of this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know, dude. NBA is pissing me off, bro. I can't get any more time because, you know, I can't make my shots and I can't make my shots because I can't get more time to work on making my shots. And it's just a really slow process right now. That's why normally when I play games, I like to amp up the settings but you can't do it in my career for nba i guess which is freaking retarded so uh yeah i guess the grind continues i hope you guys enjoyed